So you have a new computer and you're trying to install the Epix Games Launcher. Well, a few months ago, we went into a 60 second fix of how to sort that on Windows 11. While it helped a ton of people, thanks for the positive feedback. We've also seen comments like, it's still not working. So in this follow up, we're diving deeper into why this issue keeps happening and we'll find some extra fixes. Welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribble. Originally, installing the Epix Games Launcher was very simple. Just double click and you're in. But over the last year or so, things have become a bit more difficult. Here's our theory. As Microsoft tightens security on Windows 10 and 11, any installer that doesn't have a valid, up-to-date certificate will be blocked from running. And this may include Epic Games Launcher in some cases. Back in the day, you could disable antivirus, firewall, right-click and run as administrator, and you're good to go. But now, it's not so simple, and this is what we recommend. Zoop. So if you're on Windows 11, let's quickly walk through the fix from our original video. So first thing we need to do is go to the Epic Games website and download the installer. So at the top right, we press on download, then find a location where you want to download it to. So we're gonna select downloads folder here, and then press on save. Boop. At the top right, we can see a circle filling up. Once it's gone all the way around, it should be downloaded. We can see there's no problems when we see the word done. Now click on the bottom search bar, then start to type in task manager. Once you see it, go and click on it. There we go. And it'll bring up a new window. Now over here, click on run new task. Then go down to browse. Now we need to go to the download folder. Where was it? Ah, there it is, downloads. And as is, it won't show here. So at the bottom right, click on programs, all files, and it should appear. So there's the Epic installer. We'll click that and then open. Check the box that says create this link with admin blah, 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 and then okay. Now wait a moment. And in the next window, we should be able to install the Epic Games Launcher. So click install. And now we should be good to go. I like fish and chips and a bagel. After a minute or two, we'll get in the sign-in screen. Then we can use our email to log in. Then we can slide around a snake. Yeah. If you're still on Windows 10, the task manager is a little different. In order to find run new task, it's under the file menu here. Then browse. Downloads, change this to all files, then click on the Epic Installer, and the checkbox for Doofa Doofa, OK, and then install for more slippy slidey action. If either of these fail, there's another path, let's use the Microsoft Store. In the bottom search bar, type Microsoft Store, and then click it. A quick note, if using a tool like Stop Updates 10 to block Windows updates, the Microsoft Store won't work, and you'll need to unblock it for the store to function properly. Once you have the Microsoft Store up, we should first make sure we're logged in. We can see this by checking our avatar at the top right. There we go. Now click on the search bar and type in Epic Games um, Launcher Game Store. Click that. Now we should have a blue button that says Install. Click that. And provided you have a stable internet connection and enough hard drive space, this should install successfully. You'll get the update. Then we can log in for more slippy and slidey action with Snake. If you are still getting errors, what we could do is try using Windows Updates. In the bottom search bar, type in Update and then check for updates. Now if we push this blue button on the right, we should be able to bring it up to the newest version of Windows, which may allow us to install Epic Launcher. Of course, we're trusting Microsoft not to sneak in more security flaws, bloat, or spyware, despite the history. So once you've got everything set up, we strongly recommend installing Stop Updates 10, just to keep Microsoft from being Microsoft. Billy, get out of my system. And if everything in this video still doesn't work, it may be time to look at repairing Windows. At the bottom search bar, search Settings. Make sure you're logged in to your Microsoft account. If your email is listed here, you're good to go. And this helps us keep our Windows activation key safe. Now in the box on the left, type in Reset, hit Reset this PC, and provided you have all of your important files backed up, you can go on and hit Reset PC. 
Apparently the first option here keeps personal files, but it won't hurt to keep things on a USB stick. Either way, both options should fix your Windows install, but the bottom one? That's the nuclear option. No survivors, no going back. So think twice before you hit that button. We hope this video helped, and if it did, slam that like button, and maybe share it with your friends. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next video. Ta-ra. If you can't wait, YouTube thinks you might like these apples. I am John Luke. If you need a punching bag, I can lend you or oh, wish me.